What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel, I'm your boy Zawoki, and yes, we're going to be talking about Kevin the Cube, also the Enforcers, the IO, and a whole bunch of information coming from my theories and other people's theories and stuff, what's going to be coming from the next few weeks within Season 5 and what's going to be in Season 6. So guys, grab your ear, grab some popcorns, we're going to be talking about Fortnite and what is Fortnite going to be doing for the future. If you guys are new to my Zwoki channel, or if you guys have been here and you have not subscribed, make sure you consider subscribing down below by hitting that red bar icon down below, and then turn on the bell icon as well so when you do post, or when I post a video, you guys can comment, like, and share, and watch the video, and it definitely, I love your guys' theories, I like, love your guys' opinions and everything, so make sure you guys take a couple seconds to comment, I surely appreciate you guys, but what we're here for is obviously a few things to talk about, obviously the seven, the seven we've been talking about for months and years pretty much of where the seven are who are the seven we've only seen three people a lot of people comment in my my description or not my description but my comments saying Midas is the the or one of the seven uh, they're saying a whole bunch of the, these characters are the set or part of the seven but I don't feel that and I'm gonna tell you why at the end of the video but what we're gonna start first start off going on by is this guy and this guy Obviously, starting off the bat, I'm sorry, I got some funky hair here. This one right here came out in season four. Season four, hold on. Season five, sorry, season five. Season five of chapter one, the enforcers, which you were completing some challenges after a few weeks. It was pretty much your secret skin. But then you got these guys which came out season five, but chapter two. If you guys don't know who these guys are, you are living under a rock because these guys come out occasionally around the map in sets of three. They come out of the ground in some type of square container and they pretty much will guard that area because they're trying to make sure that no one gets out of the loop and goes to the nexus point and escapes through the loop. So what about these guys? They're technically the same thing, I'm pretty sure that I remember because this guy is protecting the rifts and pretty much space cops kind of or different dimension space cops so does that mean that these guys are also the same thing as well I think in my scenario or my theory these guys are the same characters but in a different dimension like if you have spider-man and spider-man miles morales or you have like Spider-Man web or the different dimension web or universe or whatever, or whatever it's called or multiverse. These guys I feel are the same, but in a multi different dimension. So these are the guys from chapter two. This is the chapter one. Am I, I'm, I think I'm on to something. Yes, this one's got blue eyes. This one's got purple eyes, but I feel like these ones have purple eyes because of Kevin the cube. I'll, I'll give you some information about that. But if you look at this one, he's got blue eyes because he was going through, or he somehow had tides with the rift. I could be on something completely weird here, but I have a feeling that <coughs> <coughs> somehow these guys are on the same team or they are identical but in different universes. Let me know down, down below what you guys think because I think I'm on to something and there are other people that think the same thing so with that being said the next thing that we're talking about is obviously why is Kevin sitting here well Kevin came to us in season 5 of chapter 1 which the enforcers came which we, we just saw which is yeah Kevin's power Jonesy was using as these slats on the bottom here to open some type of device giving him the ability to go through the nexus point and c come to the Fortnite world but the woman did say before she went through or she got off the phone with him b before she was able to she pretty much told him not to stir up anything to get the attention of the seven so with that being said the seven which the visitor came first back in season four of the superheroes, which was chapter this one. No, this one. 
I'm losing my mind here. This one on the top. Right here. This is when the visitor actually came as the secret skin. But the funny thing is, is we just had this chapter four because it's mirror it's mirroring the same seasons. So we have the bootleg kind of one. If if Wish was to order superheroes, this is what they would get. <laughs> But instead, this is what we get this time, actual superheroes. Or these ones that we're just playing. But the visitor came in this season. So does that mean possibly not in this season because we just passed? Does that mean some type of visitor, scientist, or paradigm, as the three characters that we've already had, could we be finally getting another part or character from the seven? I know there's a whole bunch of you guys out there that think that Minus is part of the Seven, that the Chaos Agent is part of the Seven. I don't feel like those guys are part of the Seven. I feel like they're trying their own spin to get out of the loop themselves. The Seven are extraterrestrial kind of beings from another world, not Fortnite world, but a whole other world in itself. And that has nothing to do with Fortnite and Jonesy and stuff like that, but... Jonesy and Kevin the Cube and all this stuff apparently are getting the attention of the Seven and the Seven are per are stuck in the loop as well, but in an extra or extraterrestrial kind of way. Hopefully I'm not losing you guys, but I'm I'm I've been thinking about this for quite a while and I'm trying to get this under control. So obviously we've seen the seasons are mirroring themselves. So if you guys look at the next season, ding. Season 6 for Chapter 1 was obviously this genre, which was almost like, I want to say a Halloween kind of theme, but it was more of a darker theme where you have the dire skin, you have the, the skin that looked like pretty much Van Helsing, vampires and stuff like that, because it did happen during the, Hall the All Hallows Eve kind of event. But this is when Kevin was pretty much going critical. Which pretty much was getting ready to explode, blow up, and so stuff like that. But does that mean that Kevin the Cube will one make a return to Kevin the Lu or Kevin Vol what is it called? Kevin Illusion, the big huge stacks that you guys see in the top right corner in pretty much steamy stacks. Is Kevin the Cube somehow going to arise and come back? I have a feeling because. We've obviously seen that they are using Kevin technology and power to work on certain devices, Jones, these people. But it, the funny thing is, is, too, is it looks like it's underwater. If you guys look around this blue thing on top of the portal or hole that they have, it looks like it's underwater. So does that mean that this is technically under Chapter 1's map, technically the OG map? And chapter 2 map is below it? I'm literally like twisting my mind here trying to figure this out. A lot of you guys are also trying to do the same thing. But I feel like we're on to something with obviously these guys. Obviously Kevin the Cube's power being used as they're using sh shards or slats to power or harness or being able to use the nexus point to their whim. Um, and with all these chapters like these starting to mirror themselves, obviously this chapter is possibly going to get its mirrored self as well. Could be onto something. I could be not onto something. I just wanted to talk to you guys to see what you guys think down in my comments. I want you to take three minutes. Three minutes of your time. Think about what's going on in the world of Fortnite. If you are in love with Fortnite... Take those three minutes. I want to figure out exactly what's going on with you guys. And I want to figure it out before the season hits. Which shouldn't be for a few weeks now. But I feel like something's coming. And it's bigger than we even know. And I think another member of the Seven is about to debut. I don't think Midas is one of them. I don't think the Chaos Agent. Or all these other characters that people have speculated to be part of the Seven. The Seven are a complete different breed of extraterrestrial skin characters that our characters that are down on Fortnite are trying to get out of the loop which they're non-successful but the biggest successful ones are the seven they're able to pretty much 
change a whole bunch of different things to try to bend the loop and sort of like that. And I think we're finally getting to something. I finally think we're going to be getting another character of the seven because we're still missing four. We don't have the other four. I'll post the link down below for the other four that we speculate possibly will be coming in the future. Um, I've talked about that in another video. I've talked about the seven back way back when. And so we definitely need to talk down in the comments. So make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think. No, I don't want to hear Midas is the seven or part of the seven or the chaos agent. I don't feel like they are part of the seven. Like I said, they're just trying to do their part of getting out of the loop themselves they don't care about anybody else. So comment down below. Let me know. Like the video because I surely appreciate you guys when you guys do so. And hopefully this video didn't bore you as much as it bored me. But, or not, I would say bored, but with all the ex information I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to make sure that I'm on to something here. So that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.